I don't know who needs to hear this. Um, two weeks ago or one week ago, I was in Tampa, Florida. I prepared this very short presentation. I want to share with you three stories. We talk a lot about business. Uh, maybe someone wants to become influ uh, influ influencer. Uh, if you want to change what do you do, maybe you have a bigger goal later. Um, I want to share three true insights story behind Roofing Insights YouTube channel. Uh, I have a lot of door opened to me in the last few years. I have access to billionaires today. Uh, you know, simple fact that I could interview Marcus Lemonis, the CEO of seven billion dollar company, on the stage, and I could afford to pay for it. And I mean, moments like that will never be forgotten. Like you look back, Steve Jobs says, you cannot connect dots looking forward, but you can looking back. Like I look back, and I'm like, how did that happen? And I want to show you how it happened. So name of uh, this presentation is. Don't be transactional with your door openers. We're all familiar with the door knockers, but we also have door, people who open doors for you in your life. I have plenty of uh, people who open doors and I've never ever tried to sell them anything. As a matter of fact, if you're gonna try to be transactional with those people, you're probably gonna fail and those doors will never be opened. I wanna share with you three stories really quick. A Couple of years ago, I started traveling, so I, Started as a YouTuber, made a lot of videos in my roofing business, product reviews, tests, but I really wanted to travel. I wanted to have this dream life where I can afford to hire a videographer and go somewhere else, interview a person or meet them. But I didn't have a budget. How do you get there? So you have to start somewhere. So I did a couple company tours. We call those videos. People like watching them. You know, guys like Ethan, you know, came here. We actually came to his business. You know, we like seeing how big, like, we learn from that experience. That guy did that with what? I can do that. But I didn't have a budget. And I remember one of the first people that I follow, Justin Woodruff, founder of Radio Roofing. He was doing $7.5 million on third year in business. He was like rising star on Facebook, was all over the place. I'm like, this guy is cool. So one day I reached out to Justin, <clears throat> said, Justin, can I come to you? No cost to you. I just I want to feature your company on our Roofing Insights channel. One of the first company tour videos we've done. He's like, who's going to say no to that? I didn't want to be like this guy. Like, are you ready to get 10 leads per month? You know, whatever, 10 more jobs. I'm like, hey, do you want to be featured on our YouTube channel? He's like, I love Roofing Insights. Absolutely. Next thing I know, we're in the plane. And by the way, free to him does not mean free to me. I mean, it's a couple thousand dollars in travel alone, video guy, whatever. We came in, shoot the content. Beautiful thing. Next thing I know, we come back. Justin calls me and says, Dimitri, have you heard about uh, Apple Roofing in Kansas City? Those are the guys that you want to really see. I've never heard of Apple Roofing. Don't know who they are. Today, everybody in the roofing industry knows Apple Roofing. They just partner up or purchased, acquired Crest Roofing. So they do $40 million a year. They have about five locations. Uh, they're going to buy 20, 30 companies this year. But two years ago, no one knew about Apple Roofing. Justin Woodruff made an introduction. He's like, I really like the video you guys did. You should come to Kansas City and do uh, Apple Roofing videos. So Dustin, uh, Justin introduced me to Dustin Bigler, founder of Apple Roofing. I've never seen anything like that. To this day, one of the top video of the Roofing Insights channel. If you have not seen it, go and watch it tonight. Because this video, like when we get, got there, I think we drove, it's like eight, nine hours. It's not far. We came there, it did not look like a roofing company. It looked like IT company. Six million dollar paid off brand new building. $300,000 boom truck outside, they have their own warehouse, their own underlayment. and I mean, who are you guys? What is going on? To this day, when I go classes like this, we did early question about Will Smith's slapping and who would you slap? You usually ask people, what's number one video you've seen? What's your favorite Roofing Insights video? To this day, Apple Roofing Company Tour is one of the videos that people say it was their favorite video. That video is inspiring. So I'm like, okay, this is freaking cool. And, and by the way, I did not charge money for it. It was free. Dustin Bigler is on my speed dial now. If I call him, he usually answers. If he calls me, I answer. I did arm wrestling him two times and I won both that times and he challenged me for the first time. Every, they all do and they all lose, but I have to just mention that. Anyway, so we, Dustin Bigler is really good friend, okay? And they doing huge things. 
here's what happened next. Here's the third story. The, everything happened between Justin Woodruff and Apple. We're talking about two weeks, three weeks. And by the way, three stories that I'm sharing with you made me richer last year by at least $100,000. I'm talking $100,000 in my pocket that I didn't have or wouldn't have if not for these stories. Here's the third one. SRS. We have Kinn um, here from SRS. Today, SRS is very good friend of Roofing Insights. We go to their events, to their grand openings. They come to our conference. They support us. Uh, we work with Julissa, Spanish program. I mean, amazing company. But how do you approach a company like that? Well, two weeks later, after Apple Roofing Tour, Dustin Bigler calls me, said, hey, we were just touring brand new facility headquarters of SRS in Texas. You should come and visit that. I'm like, how do I do that? He's like, well, you should interview Dan Tinker, CEO of SRS. I'm like, okay, can you make an introduction? He's like, absolutely. Next thing I know, we text him on the group text between Dan Tinker, myself, and Dustin Bigler. I'm texting with the, you know, founder and CEO of $5 billion company. I'm like, what is going on? People op open doors to you through your life. And here's the thing. Next, two weeks later, three weeks later, I'm sitting there interviewing Dan Tinker. Um, their marketing director at the time, David, showed us their facility, $25 million brand new facility. I was blown away. Here's what I wanted to share with you guys. <clears throat> don't be transactional with the, your door openers. All of those three people were door openers for me. Dustin Bigler, Justin Woodruff, and Dan Tinker. If I would try to close them or sell them anything, I don't think it like, I mean, how do you think conversation would go if I would reach out to SRS and say, hey guys, do you want to buy a video from me? Or do you want to sponsor our channel? You know, they don't know who they are. As a matter of fact, when we did that tour, their market, SRS marketing director had no idea. I had to introduce myself. I mean, they treat us with respect. You come in, you know, we treat them with respect. They treat us with respect. They show us around. They see the cameras. It's a little bit intimidating. Everybody's intimidating in front of camera and a few Russians behind it. But you go in and you're like, what do you guys do? Well, we're Roofing Insights. We're like number one YouTube channel. They're like, oh, really? Never heard of you. Right, but then step by step today, you know, we have a sponsor SRS, we, and many many others. And now people watch those videos and they want to be part. Now people are calling us. I mean, I charge twelve thousand dollars to come to company like Apple Roofing. To but now we have orders on a regular basis. I don't even have to sell. People text me, "How do I have you come?" I'm like, "Go to this website, buy." Next thing I know, twelve thousand dollars just came in. Someone purchased company tour in Texas. I'm doing four of them in the next five weeks. The thing about it is don't be money driven. Like you, I always say that you don't have to monetize your life. A lot of marketers make this mistake. A lot of business owners make this mistake. Public adjusters make this mistake. There's so many people in this business that can open doors to you and will make you filthy rich. You just have to stop being transactional with them. I see gurus who cannot go on the stage without asking them to sign up. We did conference for two days. I spent $400,000 on the conference. I did not speak at my own event. I did not have one sale. I have online school for roofers. I don't have one sale from two day event. And I'm proud of it because I am not transactional. But every time I do that, I get richer very, very fast. It started with me, with Justin Woodruff, and then Dustin Bigler, and then SRS, and now I can interview, I feel like, almost anyone, and I have done that. So do not be transactional with the people who will open doors for you now. I have next speaker coming up. His name is Nick Brennan. He is from Atlanta, Georgia. I used to live in Atlanta, very hard market, a lot of traffic. So I don't know where you guys live there. If you're ever thinking about better state place, Minneapolis needs more good guys like you are. But uh, please help me welcome Nick Brennan.